Welcome back to the adventures of Mega Zilp. Probably the greatest Zilp we've had yet. What is it? Zilp 9, I believe? I think I forgot to give him his bio. Let's go ahead and put that one back very briefly. I have high hopes for this guy. Not only have we got the powerful weapon, we've got the power armor, we've got the backpack, we've got everything we need. We've got a nice little long clip as well. You guys are very clever in the comment section. I completely forgot about embrasures. Well, it's not that I completely forgot about them. What it actually is, is that embrasures added by one mod don't allow us to see through. Embrasures added by the other do. And I'm not sure whether or not combat extended ones are compatible with it. But if they are... Then obviously we'll we'll put them down and see if they work. Um, that's definitely worth putting down a couple of edges. Is definitely worth sacrificing some wood, isn't it? Uh, even if we have to remove, say, the end table. Or I mean, what gives the most comfort out of those two? They give identical. Uh, and the wooden dresser uses a lot more wood. I'm gonna get rid of. I'm, we're gonna sacrifice the wooden dresser just to build a couple of embrasures in this area. Don't forget we will get some wood back from this as well. That way we can peek out and shoot the zombies. Ah. Uh, Hello, my friend. How are you doing? I have turned the game up very slightly here. I'm going to turn it slightly back down again so that it's too loud. But I want you guys to be able to hear the zombie sounds as I get to hear them as well. Aren't you lucky? Right, okay. Um, They seem to be just attacking everything willy-nilly, regardless of whether or not we're actually behind the door or not. As long as they don't attack the walls, I don't really care. In theory, they shouldn't attack the walls. They might be able to do it because of this. Because there's, there's a diagonal whereby they can see us. All right, let's stick down some embrasures then and actually see if these goddamn things work. Um, we'll put one here. We'll put one here. I think that's that's kind of safe. We'll put a couple on each wall. I don't want too many because maybe the zombies, there might be some long-range zombies. I, I honestly have no clue. We haven't really had enough experience of this for me to be able to tell, you know, what there is and isn't yet. All right. Can we see through it? We can. Oh, my God. We ca can. We absolutely can. Um, don't fire at will. Just stand there and let's let's take a look. Now, does that affect the zombies at all? Are they bothered by that? Doesn't seem to be. They, they don't seem to be too bothered. Oh, wow, this is big. Thank you guys for pointing that out. We may even then want to just embrasure up every fucking wall, if that makes sense. Now, worst case scenario is, don't forget, the enemies could use that against us. We still can get regular old Rimworld raids. So if we put too many embrasures down, there's no reason the enemies themselves couldn't come right up to our wall while we're asleep or something and use that to attack us. Once we start building one, we should get back enough resources to build the next one, right? Oh, we only get four from a, from a building. That sucks a little bit. But we should be okay here. Man, you can see so many outside now, huh? My god. If we could get embraced on every wall, we've essentially got vision on, on everything that's going on out there without actually having to make any sacrifices. God, there's a lot. 45 zombies on the map, and most of them seem to be outside of our bloody base right now. I think they can only attack doors. I think it's a settings you can actually change in Zombieland 2 to make them attack everything. I think we've got enough difficulties not to worry about that. But maybe in future playthroughs, if you want to come back to this style of playthrough... Going like full hyper aggressive zombie. Right now they're kind of like Resident Evil zombies, right? In the future, I'd be happy going for the more, um, the more 28 weeks later zombies. So for those of you who haven't seen that, they're more, much more aggressive. They're less zombies in 28 weeks later and more just like rabid humans. Well, that's kind of exactly what they are. They are basically like rabies, but for people. So they they just go completely fucking nuts and kill everyone. That would be kind of cool. There is also a rage mechanic as well, so that will work kind of well. Um, so for Zilp then, I guess the plan is. Get as much wood as we can as safely as possible. If we want to just stand here and kill the one with embrasures, that would work too. You've got to bear in mind we haven't got a lot of ammo though. So as much as I'd love to sit here and shoot every single one of them, it would cost us a lot in terms of resources. I would love to get just embrasures on every single one of these walls. Honestly, just do that with the entire base. That way we know what we're up against, right? No surprises whatsoever. Although this is kind of heavily risky because again, I don't know if there are any long-range zombies. I'm... 70% sure there were, because in the in the mod setup, in the settings option, there is a way you can see there's like boomer zombies, there's um so these special sort of glowing ones zombies, some somewhat akin to Fallout. There are a bunch of different zombies, but I'm pretty sure there are some long range ones there as well. So Zilp, if you could just go ahead and kind of need wood. Oh, because all the wood's on the other side of the wall. Ah, oh, that's a bit shit. Okay, um, let's start clearing a path. Let's start clearing a way for this man to get out and go and get himself some wood. Because that would be very, very handy. We'll focus on clearing the ones out just, just directly south of our exit. Because that would make the most sense, right? That's it. Take them all down very, very slowly here. We could go burst fire, but I think it's a waste of ammo. Because when they go down, that's that's basically what we have to worry about. They're, they're, they're actually dead. Oh my god, he can shoot his own walls. That's not good if he's going to be doing that. We could end up destroying our own embrasure. These things are quite powerful. Another thing I saw as well, a lot of you guys were sort of suggesting... Instead of what we've got going on right now, have easier to kill zombies, but massive hordes. And I do kind of think that could be quite fun as well. I'm hoping we can dynamically change the options midway through a playthrough here. So we'd be up against like 150, 250 zombies, but they're super easy to kill. So we just punch them and they die. But we can get overwhelmed, we can get swarmed. We'd have a lot more of those rage zombies as well because we've got... Oh man, we've got quite a long vision range on this as well, don't we? Holy shit. Okay, um, if we could focus on killing that one, then I'd be kind of safe leaving the building here. There we go. 
That must be a boomer zombie then, I guess? I really have no clue. We don't really need to kill that one, do we? It's only when they're in large packs that they're actually dangerous. Like I said, they have that sort of rage mechanic, which can get um, a little bit annoying. Okay, um, I'm not comfortable really going out here when we've got no wood to rebuild that wall. Because the only thing really stopping those guys getting in was that wooden wall there. Why don't we... Oh, because all the wood's on that side. You shit. Um, fine. Let's stop. Let's prioritize working on this one just to start off with. And then, ideally... Oh, there's so much wood kicking around. We need to make a stockpile, don't we? Um, let's just turn the bedroom into a sort of temporary stockpile here. Critical. Get all this wood hauled back as soon as possible. That's 119 wood. We could definitely embrasure up the whole base with that. Let's get to work, little zilp. I'm happy to go sort of speed two on this, because again, we know there are no big zombie hordes sort of lying around anything like that. Why is he walking so slow? Is it that toxicity and sticky zombie goo? Oh, man. That was sort of the worst zombie we could have got out there then, huh? Watching the sunset. Or, alternatively, you could pick up all this wood instead, rather than being a big old fool. Because we are we are on the chomp list, my friend. So I'd rather get this done with... That's a lot. That's a lot. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Please run. Please run. Please run. Please run. Did he, did he pick up that wood? Uh, should we just manually go and pick it all into our backpack? Pick up wood all. There we go. This is a much safer idea. Yeah, that's it. Just reload. Just reload right now. That's okay. That's fine. I don't know if there's a way to stop that. I'm not, I'm not going not gonna to try and stop it because we're basically... Oh, he's locked himself out. Oh, the madman's locked himself out. I didn't even notice he'd done that. Okay. Um, very quickly, might want to shoot that guy. We should be able to run and gun him down. Come on, please. Run and gun him down. There we go. Okay, we're, we're fine. Deconstruct that wall and then let's rebuild it almost instantly, like I said. Because that's the only thing that really kept us alive last night. Um, do you want to just quickly... Haha, -ha, work on the wooden wall. No, nope. what are you doing? Please, please stop. It's all in your... Get in. Get in. Get in. Why is he like this? Okay, it's set to ignore. Is it just? Is it genuinely just fire at will that's doing that? He actually won't go in. Okay, there we go. Thank you. At long fucking last. Good lord. There's so many different. You know, you've got like the, the classic run order. No, you've got combat standing fire at will. We've got running gun as well and search and destroy. There's so many different things I have to kind of remember to disable if we do want to. You know, preferably not fight the zombies. Please finish off that wall very very fast, my friend. We're good. We're safe again. <sighs> Holy shit, that was horrendous. There's so much stuff to remember I have to disable if we want to disengage combat. It's, it's a little annoying, I will admit, but it does allow us some more fine-tuning as long as we play it a bit more turn-based, I guess might be the best way to phrase it. Um, I want to start working on a bedroom for him. Can we get, like, a stone-cutting table and just start cutting some of the stone into uh, into a lovely little building? Oh, we've got mini quarries. Oh, shit, there's not really any resources to quarry, but obviously building a wall around this would be very, very useful for us. Um, let's stick down a sculptor's table, then. We have 50 steel for that, and then we can actually start cutting some stone floors or something like that, too. Oh, God, there's so many. There's so many. Please, uh, let's equip this as well, just so that he doesn't, you know, risk failing the building or anything. You know what? Let's sleep through the night. Let's just skip over this night. This is a lost cause already. What a beautiful sunrise. Oh, with absolutely nothing wrong at all. So, sorry, I'm being a bit frantic. It's kind of getting back used to things here, and I'm sort of panicking a lot, but trying not to let Zilp number nine die because I refuse to let us have any more than Zilp. So let's let's come up with the game plan then. We've got to play it as safe as possible. We've got to very slowly expand this base out by by probably uh, dispatching groups of zombies at a time so we could go out, get some more wood and expand the wall. So what I'm thinking is we want to start building over towards this area. Not only is there steel there, any any base expansion is good base expansion, but quarryable stone as well means that we could build a massive wall around us or just sit there and quarry all day if we have to. That will allow us to eventually build things like um things like fabrication benches things like trade beacons we could start researching as well there's a lot of bonuses to the quarrying mod which would allow us to really bunker down and just sort of get on with things our food is looking a little bit dire i will admit 47 percent grown to be fair we're not halfway through our meals yet so uh, i'm gonna worry about too much i need to actually set up his jobs now that we are now th now that i'm confident we might actually stand a chance of surviving here for more than a couple of days let's get to work on that one um, what do I really want here? We want butchering, cooking should be top priority, I think, because those are going to keep them alive. Similarly, hunting. Um, I'm even going to drop that down a tier. Repairing is important. Probably not as important as the others, though. So I'm going to drop that down to a tier three one. Harvesting and growing, similarly, will keep them alive. So getting those done as soon as possible is fantastic. Everything else, honestly. Plant cup, we designate manually, so it doesn't matter if that's top tier. Um, I'm going to just quickly knock everything else on the head, though, because this is going to be... If left unchecked, could be very, very dangerous. You know, we might suddenly decide, oh, there's a there's a hauling job on the other side of the map. Let's go and do that and walk through a zombie horde. Let's not worry about those for the time being. Okay. This way, he should start building up our walls. Not worrying about it. I really hate that the wood's falling on the other side there. That's one thing I've never noticed about Rimworld before, and that absolutely sucks. That anything we build 
is on the other side of the wall. It should fall on the side that you're building from, surely. That's kind of annoying. I don't, I don't know if anybody knows there's like a... Honestly, kind of a bug fix for that, because that does seem a little bit bugged to me. Granted, you wouldn't normally be in the scenario where you are kind of bunkered down in a coffin here, but that's okay. Um, right, what the fuck do we do now, then? Should we start dispatching some, some hordes so that we can get outside? Because these ones, I believe, are, are raging now, which is why they're running around so fast, sort of freaking out a little bit. Let's get us some gun ammo. Now, how many shots have we got? Because that's another reason I want to get steel, is so that we can start building ammo. If we've got a quarry, we can basically just quarry up to steel to immediately turn into ammo if we want it. Obviously, kind of a waste. I'd like to turn it into more long-term uh, viable things like trade beacons, etc. But uh, this this would work. Maybe we should just not, not go fully auto, if you don't mind. Um, it's armor piercing, so burst actually might work. But you know what? Let's just stand here, clear these guys out, and then we'll head back out into the world. Um, oh, headshots seem kind of nice. How can we stop him shooting like these random ones? Am I gonna have to manually designate each zombie to kill? Yeah, no, I don't. I don't want this happening. Oh god, I might have to genuinely sit here and manually designate all these guys to clear out. Forty-one zombies. And how many bullets is it per zombie? Three, on average, three. Um, you've got seventy-nine bullets left. That does not give us many zombies. That does not give us many zombies at all. Oh Jesus. Okay. Um, was that like forty tops? I mean, given add, adding up our current in the in the, in the in the gun plus what we've got in our backpack, let's try let's try it not auto. Fucking out burst fire. It, it's sort of the same effectiveness, isn't it? Because it, it will kill, go through and kill multiple zombies at once. Okay, this is fine. We are we are blitzing through ammo here. Oh god, this is making me so sad. I guess I'll just stand here and sort of gun them all down one by one then until it's safe for us to leave. The zombies are down. Operation Get Steel or at least Get, you know, Replenishable Resources is in full swing here. Let's turn off fire at will. Let's make sure we're reloaded before we go on out into the map as well. Otherwise, that could be extremely dangerous. Uh, we need to make sure we've got enough wood to... Man, it's a real shame that wood's fallen out on the other side. I can't, I can't stress that enough. That would really suck because that would give us another give us another 93 wood. That's so bad. Okay, be careful coming out here because there could literally be a zombie on the other side of this door and we wouldn't know. I think we're fine. Let's take out these walls because they are just essentially blocking vision and really doing nothing for us. Us. Those boomer zombies seem like they could be a pain in the ass. Let's get these gone first. Also, that goo is is actually really horrible. Um, I'm gonna build a door here, and in fact, we'll just stick down a block of wood behind it instead. Uh, let's let's do that immediately. Let's do that. Let's get rid of this. I want to keep the door the, the first door in place before we've uh, while we install the other one. I should say. Right, let's start working on that immediately. Oh, careful, careful, careful. I know there's so many zombies around here, but there's so much wood as well. Oh, what are you doing walking right into them, my man? Good lord. Right, no fire at will. I need to find out if there's a way to permanently disable fire at will. Let's get these disabled as well, and then let's start work on that door. Okay, that should be enough, I think. Then we can disable this door as well. What have we got? What did you do with the rest of it? You just picked up, your weird man. Was that genuinely all gone into that? Okay, fine. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not happy about this goo. I don't know if there's a way. I guess we could just clear it up, but obviously setting a cleaning area outside of our compound seems like a just a, just suicide, essentially, because he's going to be running out there if we do leave any doors not constantly barricaded off. Uh, how are we looking in terms of the zombies? Quite a few, huh? And can we chop down any of this wood as well, save them to go around to the other side? Because at least we've got somewhat clear vision on what we've got kicking around. I'm happy for him to gun these down, because we're going to be here for a while. That's it. Take him out. That's it. Take him out. Good, good shot, my man. All right, last one. Oh, come on, please. Last one. Oh, <laughs> this is actually kind of killing me inside. Oh, for the love of God, these are armor-piercing light machine gun rounds. There we go. Okay, he's down. Right, don't worry about that. I know they can still attack you when they're down like that. They can still, like, claw at your feet or something like that. Um, let's go ahead and queue up all of these trees to be cut as quickly as we can. I'm going to play on speed 2 for a bit because we, we've got decent vision on this area. If things are looking messy, we'll just run back into the base. Uh, looks like we're starting to get a little bit of attention here. Oh, the other zombies also get caught on that goo. Interesting. That is actually genuinely very useful to know. Uh, that guy just seems to have straight up died. Wait, can we just get a shot and I'll let them bleed out? If that's true, that could be fantastic. Now, how much wood are we going to need to be able to encase this area? 250. That's a lot of wood. Um, we'll do something like that, right? And then run a passage. Yeah? Down like down like this. This is either the world's greatest idea or the world's worst idea. Um, let's forbid this for the time being. Let's make sure that the passage is built first. And then we'll head over there ourselves. So select similar. Let's just go ahead and cancel all that stuff. Let's make sure we've got the actual entrance of the base done first. Is he, is he going for us? 
Could you, could you not? Okay, we're, we're automatically avoiding it. So, Zombieland also adds its own little avoidance system as well. Oh, good hit. He just fucking, like, nailed that dude. Um, also adds its own sort of avoidance system. So that if there are zombies on the map while you are working like that, as we saw, he will try and path his way around them. Okay, um, let's on... Okay, this is the most dangerous thing we're probably going to do here. So, we're going to take out that door. Build this one up. Head inside. Let's pick up all that wood. Let's pick up all this wood as well. And just sort of duck inside very quickly. We need to make sure this base is very, very quickly tightened up. Because it is just about to turn night time. Drop some wood. This is a good plan, I think. Uh, uh, getting us into this different area is going to be very, very useful for the long term. What the fuck are you doing, you weird boy? No, just finish off that one. Thank you. Okay. That's fine. Um, <laughs> and then we'll start working on this, I guess. We'll cancel that for the time being. So it's 52 wood. We've just tied it there. All right. And night time. Has come. I guess we'll just uh, just let him live his life for a little bit. How much ammo did that day use up, though? 30? Okay, man. We, we blew through about another 40 ammo there today. So we need this done as soon as possible. As we've, ever. we've got a lot of wood kicking around. Um, I might even go as far as to cancel the Embrasure Project. But, of course, if I cancel those, it'll just appear on the other side of the map anyway. So there's no reason to. He is botching construction there just on a couple of these. So we will make sure we have this steel wrench equipped. Too. God, there's so many again. There are so many again. This is such an odd way to play RimWorld. It just feels like a constant uphill battle, you know? Um, alright. So, what's next? <laughs> the golden question, really. Do we want to do the same thing again? Start clearing out zombies out the front, go into here, cut down these trees, get these walls built, or try and get them built as soon as possible? How much more wood do we need for all of these? 80, that's like, uh, 80 times 5. That's a lot of, that's a lot of wood, my man. That's a lot of wood, my man. Um... How much we got right now? Oh, good. Yeah, sure. Including that shit over there. Only another, what's that, 320 wood to go? Fine. Okay, um, let's take the door out. Let's take the door out. No, 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 let's, let's dispatch some zombies first, because uh, if they rage, I believe they'll attack the door, and if the pack's too big, they'll immediately start attacking the door. Crip your LNG. Let's get to work dispatching some of these zombies to start off with. So what I'm doing is just untoggling fire at will, getting as close to the embrasure possible, and picking out the, uh, picking out the more dangerous-looking guys. So let's take out these three to start off with here. All right, that's most of the horde dealt with. So let's go ahead and deconstruct ourselves this wall and head back out into the head once more out into the abyss. All right, give yourself a give yourself a little time to reload here. As much as I'd love to keep the wrench equipped, just in case he does obviously fail the fail the construction. How are we looking? Okay, there's like oh man, there's actually quite a lot. Um, what do we want to do here then? I think we'll fire at this guy, take him down. Let's go again. Turn off fire at will. Single shot. Just, just quickly dispatch this, man. Fantastic shot. Um, oh, there's a lot coming over as well. Jesus, this is horrible. This is absolutely horrible. We've got the power armor. If we could get a helmet too, I wonder how difficult it would be for these guys to hit us in melee. Um, oh, why, why, what, what happened there? <laughs> that was so weird. Why is he doing that? Um, I'll turn back on fire at will because this could get a little messy. Maybe fire at will doesn't work with run and gun. So if we turn that off, they probably won't run and gun if that makes sense. All right. Try and take him down, please. Oh! Okay, let's see how he does in melee distance. Actually, seems fine. Actually, seems kind of okay. These fat zombies move very, very slowly. So, the fat zombies, are, it's probably worth not shooting ever. Um, just because we can run literal circles around them. Come on. Oh, God. Back off a little bit. Back off a little bit. No, 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 no. Don't you? I want you to run a gun. Just maybe shoot at that one, though. There we go. Right, we got another one coming around just there. Knock him down. Send him. We need to, okay, one thing I, I, th I feel like uh, having, you know, sort of experienced the data, one thing I realize what is going wrong is that we're dispatching a group of zombies, getting a very tiny amount of work done, and then going to bed, and then all the zombies are respawning. So I think what I need to do is when we've dispatched a big old group like this is immediately build up as much as we can. Even if we have to force them to stay awake all night, it could still be very much worthwhile. Oh my god, killing these guys is so difficult, they're so strong. These are like armor-piercing rounds, and they're just like, it's like three or four shots. Okay, let's keep going for this guy. Mega Sloth Revenge. That doesn't sound fun. Oh, is he coming for, uh, coming for us? No, we're still okay for the time being. All right, there we go. Um, don't bother shooting that one. Let's take him down first, and then we'll basically just do as much work as possible. Now that the coast is clear, we just need to we just need to crank out as much work as we possibly can muster. All right. Um, honestly, let's get these two dealt with. Don't bother shooting over there. Let's get these two dealt with, and then we'll start 
fresh with things. I'm sorry if this is slow, but it's like a, it's like kind of a real nerve-wracking playthrough we've got going on here. I've got to be so bloody careful with how I approach even something simple as building a wall. Just seem it's, it's literal life and death in this situation. We've got to be so careful about how we do things here. Um, so what I'm going to do then is just make sure, like I've said, the, the actual prioritizing our defenses is top of the list. Let's make sure that's delivered to and ready to go. And then stop him building it when it's like 90% done, just in case we do get into a, a horrendous emergency. Build these walls up. What the fuck is he doing? Gather in that wood. I'm going to cancel and forbid that. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and forbid most of this stuff. There's so much wood around there, though. It's just, it really, really sucks. Right, there we go. Um, let's go ahead and begin the construction. All right. Oh, this is uh, kind of really horrible. Like, genuinely really, really sucks, but that's okay. Again, now that we've got these zombies dealt with, there's 20 zombies on the map. Let's get as much work done as possible, because they could be absolutely anywhere, mostly on the other side of these embrasures. And how much wood was it we need again? Like 400 or so? Um, to be honest, that that's doable. It's actually genuinely quite doable. Um, I don't know why. I, I, these are probably just old trees I've designated, so we'll ignore those for the time being. Let's draft and undraft. Are we safe? Oh, no. There's still another one there. Sorry, my mistake. Uh, quickly cancel that one. How are we looking now? Uh, harvesting oak tree. Oh, my God. There's a fucking another one. Right. How are we looking now, my man? Harvesting poplar tree. I've got to make sure that all these old designations are dealt with, because these will be the things, if I'm not careful, that will get us killed. Right. There we go. There we go. Okay. Hauling wood to stop power. Why would you do that? Why would, you, why would you ever do that rather than just build up these fucking walls that I've assigned you to build, huh? That doesn't make any goddamn sense, my man. Oh, fuck. Good lord. All right. Um, I need to remember to forbid that. Otherwise, he's just going to build it up with the rest of it. Right. Again, focus on this one because this is the very important one. Thank you. Thank you. I'm, I'm going to lose my mind. I'm going to lose my mind. Build that there. Start working on it. Deliver the resources again in case of emergency. Stop. Leave it. Leave well alone. Thank you. Much appreciated. Let's get this top wall built. Because the last thing we want is to come around this corner when it's hidden off from us like that and get and get killed by the zombies. You know, because we don't have vision on any of this area yet. Oh, shit. Come on. Don't botch. Don't botch. That's the last thing we need, my man. Okay. Now, this will also act as a nice natural barrier. One thing I haven't really talked about too much. Um, are they attacking the door? They're attacking something, aren't they? Um... They really are. What the fuck are you attacking? Maybe just like some random animals or something? This will act as a nice natural barrier. So if we, if we can at least get this bit done, it would be fantastic. Because it means this is essentially blocking off any zombies that might be up here. You know, any zombies at this top and at this section then become irrelevant. You know, they can't reach us if we've got this big, long extension on the wall. Yeah, it looks as if they're just fighting animals for the timing. Why is he holding it to the stockpile rather than building? Am I going insane? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly don't know what I mean he could just deliver it right to the walls next to him uh, But instead he's being a very strange man. Oh, it's probably because he's going back there to go and do something else, right? Because his schedule's set to anything So he wants to go back and eat a meal and he th thinks oh, I'll carry this wood back with me Why you forbid me from doing that right? I'm that's just me being a fool. Sorry. That, that's that's scheduling issues there. Okay. This is where we've got to be careful my man What are they fighting fighting a mega sloth? Oh man hunter. Oh good. Well, that's clearing out the fucking zombie Don't shoot the mega sloth. It's our friend that's clearing out the zombies for us. Right, um, rebuild this, and then, uh, and then we'll call that a day. A fairly okay day. Not a fantastic day, because now zombies could potentially be hiding up around here. We'll let the Mega Sloth clear out some more zombies for us. That's actually so useful. If it, Keep an eye on this number. Let's keep an eye on this. That did go down very briefly then. It can't be long before this poor old Mega Sloth gets, uh, gets completely eaten, right? Oh, wow. Well, he's wide awake and fully rested. Let's go and see what we are up against today, then. Okay, not too terrible, not too terrible. It looks like there's only might be a couple out there. Again, we don't know what's going on this side anymore, so we have blinded ourselves, which is why I wanted to get a lot more of this done. But we are still going to go and have a quick peek, just to sort of see what we're up against. Uh, it's actually not too bad. Actually, not too bad. Only a couple of zombies is, is absolutely fantastic news for us there. Um, okay, let's make sure we're, we're prioritizing the important ones here. Zilp, I know you're eager to slay zombie, but if you could at least slay the zombies that are coming close and actually grabbing us, that would be fantastic. Thank you. Great shot. Running gun's going to be our best friend here. I should really just be running gunning them always, shouldn't I? No downside to that at all, unless they start targeting the wrong zombie. It's just a waste of ammo at that point. There we go. Okay. Working? Time for work. Let's go and let's get let me up a little bit of a meal there, and then we'll immediately start working on our walls again. This is good. Big fan of this. Oh, and that's gonna give us a little bit more wood as well. Not a huge amount, but hey. Okay. Um, so what we want to start doing now then is opening up the passage so that we can actually get in there, because this is gonna start getting a little risky. It's gonna start getting a little risky. There we go. Pathfinding is actually a lot more clever than I gave it uh, than I gave it credit for. We do seem to be quite clearly able to build on quite high speeds and avoid a lot of the zombies as well. 
So I need to be somewhat more careful about that. Well, you've just left wood in front of the door, and now they're in the base with us. Fantastic. Absolutely incredible. Rimmold, everyone. Rimmold. I, I love it when they do that in prisons as well, where they'd be, you'd be holding something over to the prison, and then they'll just leave wood in front of the prison door. You get a prison break. Why have I got a prison break? Oh, because some idiot left a meal holding the door open for him. Okay, please take this on me out. Come on. You can do it. Just one man. Nothing to panic about. One man. Is he, is he dead? I think we're fine. Okay. Oh, this is, um, horrible. <laughs> this is, this is horrible. Okay. So what we can do now is we can unforbid this one. Uh, in fact, we could probably just go ahead and unforbid all of those. What I might even do is move the main entrance to the base via this. Because that way we've got a double fallback in the event of a real, real emergency. Can we haul these corpses out here? Are they just sort of, uh, are they just sort of hanging around in the base at this stage, huh? I imagine they're just sort of a permanent friend. Right, let's remove that one too. And then we'll replace that with a full-blown wall, just so that his bedroom's a little bit safer. There we go. And now we can start working on this from the inside out. Now we can really get some work done. I'll forbid that one for the time being. Again, that's going to add to our natural barrier to the base. So for the time being, let's just focus on getting this shit delivered and built up. Just be careful of the monsters hiding. Oh, good lord. Okay, there we go. Um, should we chop down all these trees over to the right-hand side? Because those look very tasty. My zilp, get me some wood. Should do it. That should do it. Sorry, I'm still getting used to sort of, also the sort of editing of things. Well, I don't know how much information you guys want me to leave in. Obviously, chopping down trees, I thought it was a bit pointless. Dispatching sort of single groups of zombies might be a bit pointless. But I know a lot of people are very much in interested in the sort of play-by-play -play of every step of survival in these sort of more high-tension series. At least what, what people have... Uh, the, judging by feedback that people left on the old Jilp series as well. So I we don't really know how to do it yet. So you'll have to bear with me on that one if things aren't quite what you might expect. Now, I can't but notice we are almost entirely out of food. Oh, we can get this finished by tonight. You can get this push through, push through, push through. Let's go to restrict. Let's just say boom. Go through, go through, my man, and build this place. This can be perfect. This is so significant if we can pull this off tonight. Oh my god, he's actually going to do it, the madman. He has actually done it. Forbid that one. Uh, why am I forbidding that one? Because I want to get all this shit hauled to the base. Because that's going to allow us to build a bunch of furniture. Maybe even floors for his bedroom and whatnot. Okay, I'm going to say just drop it there. And then I'm going to say go and haul this stuff next. Uh, not assigned to hauling. What the fuck were you just doing there, my man? <laughs> not assigned to hauling, he says, as I just stopped him from hauling. Okay, uh, no, nope, now he's hauling. Now it's fine. Um, I guess he has to haul of his own volition. I can't just say... Maybe it's just because he's going on his way back. Maybe that's it. Um, there we go, right, turn off fire at will, go and grab this. Perfect. All right, that's a lot of wood we've got lying around there as well. And then if we build this up, this area is now safe. A whole base is safe, and we've got access to steel. My god, that was good. I'm, I'm really happy with how this has gone. Can we even put down, like, a nice wooden floor? Uh, have we got enough wood for that? It seems like a waste, I'm well aware, but, uh, 108 wood. Ugh! For a wooden floor? I don't think I can justify it. I honestly don't think I can justify it. Let's set this area to be a dumping stockpile as well, that we get all these bloody, like, uh, stone chunks and things that are in the center of our base. We can get those out of here. And we could also use that as a stockpile zone, too, because we could just roof over the damn thing and use it as an indoor quarry. This is so, so good. This is absolutely fantastic. Now, what do we do about food? Um, <laughs> this is kind of a problem because it's going to be... Oh, there's so many berry bushes. Okay, next plan. Build across there and across there. How much wood was that? That's not going to be much wood. That's like 75 wood and we've already got enough. That way, this area that's full of berry, berry bushes or whatever else, we could use it as a stockpile zone, kitchen, dining room, whatever we want to do with it. More to the point, it's absolutely full of tasty, tasty crops. Uh, there shouldn't be too many zombies out in just this very small section. Because they're not going to come through that side. Okay. This is it. This is so good. A lovely little base expansion. I like it. Okay. Um, and let's get all the plants in here just cut down. I'm probably not going to go for the grass. In fact, can we just harvest? They might not be fully grown yet. That's the only concern. Ah, oh, look at that. Food for days. Food for a few minutes at least. Oh, and look at that. Our rice has just grown as well. This is so nice. We've oh my god, two try So we've got a, a teacher named Jumper. Uh, I'm sorry, but you are screwed. And an evangelist named Captain is also completely screwed. Winter is going to be a real problem for us, if, if you haven't already realized. Unless we can find a way to build some sort of indoor greenhouse, unless we can somehow get enough power for hydroponics. I mean, what the hell power source are we going to use? Wind turbines, I guess. Uh, not wind turbines, sorry. Solar panels? We could have left all this unroofed, or at least most of it unroofed, and just build solar panels in here. That works out pretty well. Clap some... Oh, right, because I forgot to... Yeah, okay, sorry, that is completely my fault there. Um, there you go, sleep from... So let's set him up a, like, a half-decent schedule here. Mental break risks are going to be the real killer. So let's be somewhat... Because if he goes on, like, a 
t I don't know, tantrum and somehow breaks a wall, then we are really, really, really screwed. There we go. Go go get back to bed. Now, we need to start building up a decent bedroom as well. Because that's, that's just basically free mood that we're ignoring. So, let's build a dresser. Let's build a new end table. And I think a full-blown bed would also be glorious for our nice boy. Um, let's build that. Build that there instead and give him a slightly larger bed, I guess. Do you want to just do that now quickly? I know that he's, he's extremely overtired and the poor guy's trying to get a good night's sleep. But this will definitely be worth it. Let's just get that done. Let's get that done. Just get, just get it done. Just stay awake for a few more hours. This is me making YouTube videos. Just stay awake for a few more hours and blitz through it. There we go. What a beautiful bedroom. E except for all the dirt and the blood in the zombie goo. Oh! Somebody blew up my walls. Okay. Um. Shit. They can just straight blow up the walls? Um. <laughs> that's really bad. Um. Right. Okay. I don't think I like that one too much. Uh, so now we've just got a massive fucking hole in the base. And there's not a lot I can do about it, essentially. Um, I, I guess we'll have to slowly dispatch them, zombie by zombie. Um, we might want to build an embrasure actually above his goddamn bed, like in his bedroom somewhere. Uh, so that we can actually see what we're up against here. That sucks that they can just straight up blow up walls, because it's our only defense against them. There's actually none out there. Oh, there's a couple out there. A couple that will bother us long enough while we rebuild these walls, anyway. Alright, there we go. We could even use some of this wood if we're, if we're careful about things. Just dispatch what we can, and then we'll go out and patch this up, because this is a massive security flaw we got going on here. Um, should we just raid? The Grey Yak Golu have arrived nearby. They're attacking immediately. Ah, come and meet my friends. Th th this will take the pressure off of us, because we've got a whole bunch of raiders and now a whole bunch of zombies to fight them. That's great. They will not last. They're, they're, they're going to get annihilated. Oh, God, what about our bullets? We're out of ammo. <laughs> All right, I guess we're a melee build now. Let's, um... I mean, there's nothing else I can do. Let's get to it. Good lord, this is um, this is something. Right, okay, going very carefully. Build up this wall. Oh, that is a that is a rabid pack over there. That's a rabid pack. Okay, come over here. Um. Oh, please be careful. Sorry, I'm being so so careful as I do this. Uh, what? What? what someone's attacking something. Maybe it's the. God damn. Oh, no, the pack's coming in. Oh, my God, no, please. I don't like these boomers. I, I think that kind of... I, I liked the safety of my base. It's difficult enough without having to worry about any of these walls at any second. What if they'd have blown this up while he was asleep? That's it, we'd be dead. We'd be absolutely dead. 41 zombies come streaming into the bedroom. I know that you can change that, but I thought it was kind of in the spirit of things. I don't really know how to defend myself against that yet. We can build turrets at some stage, but obviously not for a while yet. Are they just going to beat down this door now? Because if we stand here, we could probably fight them one by one. He's got power armor, so he should be good. I very much doubt they're going to be able to get through that, surely. Unless they bite him on the head, which at which point maybe we'll be screwed. I don't know how to deal with these with these boomers. I don't know how we're supposed to set up from that. Except for building another massive wall around the whole thing. Maybe against wooden walls, they're just effective, uh, like especially effective because they're wooden walls after all. I don't know. I don't know, but he seems to be kind of safe here. Oh, we've been bitten twice. Oh, God, this sucks. Um, okay, pull back. If, if we can sort of get them coming through the door, maybe. There we go. We can fight them one at a time instead of them all fighting us. Hold that open. Step in the doorway. And then let's immediately step straight back again. And that way they'll be coming in the door and we can fight them one at a time rather than... That's better. Rather than all of them being able to leap on Jilp from, from one set position. We need to tend to this wound as soon as possible. We really need to tend to this wound as soon as possible. Oh, that sucks that they can pile up against each other when one's down, though. What are they attacking? I don't know what they're attacking. Is it is it the raid, do you think? I mean, the raid's down there, so I doubt they've made much progress at all. How are we doing? Been bitten on the head and on the nose. Man, if, if only we could have got a power armor helmet as well, then we'd be in a real, real good position, huh? Because I don't think they'd be able to stop us at this point. We need a better melee weapon. That's something I really need to invest in as well. Like, like something other than a wrench. Wrench is fine, but obviously having like a meat cleaver, a hatchet, anything like that, sword, battle axe, anything that we found in the other previous runs would have been so, so much better compared to this. Good lord. Maybe I should just go full-blown melee, because it seems to take us a very, very long time to get any sort of reliable ammo. Good God. It's two, two bites. The bites are the only ones that could potentially be infectious. And if they are, we've basically just got to stay in bed and pray, because we haven't got anything to treat it with. We've only got doctor's care. Oh, this, this is um, unexpectedly difficult. Even with just this small amount of zombies, it's unexpectedly difficult. Good Lord. Um, should we tend to it now? I don't know. Maybe the longer we leave it, the more risky it becomes. I'm going to... Move him in, and then we're going to shut this door, and then we'll deal with the hole in the wall after we've patched him up. Is that is that body holding it open? What's going on? 
and back in again. Uh, oh, come on, really? Really? We've got a single body holding the bloody door open? Uh, just tend. We can't, we can't risk this anymore. The fat one's gonna get him. Oh, there we go. The door's shut, and I can only assume instantly killed him. No, they are bashing the door down, too. Okay. Um, we don't, we won't know that we're infected for quite some time either. So let's do that same strategy again, because that actually kind of works half decently. So pull back, pull back, pull back. There we go. Disengage. Then we'll wait for them to come back through and sort of fight them one by one, but I don't know what else I can do at this point. Besides this, I don't know what else I can do. That's it. Just club them. Just club them, little jilp. Zilp, sorry. Build up, build up their melee skills. Look at that. Oh my god, he's tanking it with melee. Nice. Okay, that might be enough to be able to get us out there. We'll, we'll peek through a little peephole before I uh, completely commit to this. But if it's just one fat zombie, we've just got to get this patched up. Otherwise, they're just going to keep coming in over and over and over. The sooner we can get it done, the quicker. It might just be worth risking and running down this one dude. Oh my god, these things are so strong. Maybe I will go for that tactic. Let me know what you think, okay, in the comment section about setting it so that we fight, like, there's 200 zombies on the map at a time, they're super easy to kill. So if you've got a wrench, we just whack around the head and they're dead. Something, something a bit more akin to a more comedic, like a Shaun of the Dead style zombie, rather than, uh, rather than this, which they are uh, apparently invincible. What are you doing? You're telling me there's not enough wood in these embrasures. Oh, Lord. You are a man of extreme risk and extreme talent. Mainly the risk, though. Um, let's work on the outside ones first. Quickly get this done. Just blot yourselves in with this man and we'll deal with him in a second. Okay, we're safe. Until the next boomer zombie turns up and, and kills us dead. Alright. This is horrendous. This is this is way harder than I actually ever anticipated. Um, has he taken any more damage? Malnutrition trivial. He's been treated. No infection risk. Oh, thank the lord. This has been a difficult first day. Progress has been good. Well, first first day within the base or first couple of days in the base here. Progress has been good. We've got access to potentially when we tidied this up. Obviously, we've got plenty of food. We've got... Uh, I'm going to turn this into sort of a temporary freezer thing. If we can mine up some components from the quarry, you know, m uh, compacted machinery. If we can get all this steel up as well. Might be able to build a very, very basic power grid of just uh, a solar panel up to a cooler. It won't keep our food cool forever, but it obviously will help out a little bit. Steel, I uh, wouldn't nick while there. So I guess the raid was uh, dispatched by the zombies on our behalf. Let me know what you think of the series. I'm not entirely sure how I myself feel about it at this stage, because it just seems so risky, and it seems like we're not doing anything, but it feels like we're constantly... I don't know how to I don't know how to judge it. So I'm going to let you guys in the comment section be the judge. Let me know what you think. If you want to see any gameplay changes, we can alter the way the zombies at midway through here, so we don't have to, you know, completely scrap it and start again. Um... Yeah, I, I just want to know some feedback generally about, about how things are progressing. If you think there's a more interesting way we can maximize uh, this mod pack, then of course hit me with that as well. I think things are going fine in terms of the playthrough, but it's just so fucking risky. And let's give a shout out to the people who make this channel and the series possible. In the first place, a big thank you to Alpha Scuffer, Sinakirito, At Mokutis, Bacon Kitten, Sedini, Crazy Pat Croesus, Donald, Fukuno Vasquez, Fluffernutter, Gogolus, Harik, Jimbo, Jonah Waters, Josh Lindine, Tesla, Justin Wallace, Caden Carter, Michael Mullen, Muskratful, Natbuskus911, Nathan Flores, Necrophilum, Pelvis Presley, Rodin, Scott, Skaz, Somnus, Shayok Sinclair, Stannis the Manus, The Forsaken One, T-Bag Cruz, Tom Terry 18, Tyler Kendall, Vacuous Backus, and William Green. Thank you for your support, the Insanity Lovers on Patreon. Thank you for making this channel possible in the first place. Thank you for making still YouTube viable. I think I said that in the wrong order. But that's okay. My mind doesn't have to be viable. Just just the format. I mean, arguably both. Uh, I mean, especially for you guys. It would kind of suck if I went a bit insane. Thank you to Asaro, Adam Person, Andrew Wilson, Attila, Bordoom, Ben Trope, Betsimus Max, Better Valerian, Black Double H, Chris, David Van Diepen, Don, Don Coin217, Easy to Pronounce Name, Exploding Knees, Fraser Brennan, Gabriel Van Ders, Gaz, Genji Zerka, Gompo, Gray, Haji Dumar, Henrik Stensgard, Icarus, Icy the Great, Irish, Israel, Isaac Burrows, Jay Lara, Jacob Wolfie, James Barnes, Jason Sushu, Jose, Joran DeVries, Jessica Smith, John Holiday, Jordan Campbell, Joseph Beer, Justin Plot, Justin Walters, Luana Thomas, Luke Wallace, Matthew, Monty, Nathaniel Lindbergh, Nick, Noah Gallimore, Pan Samu, Panther Pearl, Payback 1 through 7, Peyton Dennis Art, Rush Nolgart, Billionaire, Smirtworm, Talar, The Bloody Knight, Belonkery, Voodoo Mumbo, Wesley Grayson, Wilson Atef, Wolfie, Yorkus, and Zico 2. See you guys all tomorrow for Silt 9 continues to struggle and not get infected.